as, uh, as executive, uh, direct, executive director of the Analytic Foundation uh, with a visit to, to uh, Rome, to Italy. Uh, this being my first uh, mission as uh, executive director of the foundation. And I think having braved this kind of weather, I don't think anyone would uh, doubt my uh, commitment to the foundation and to the... Uh, um, uh, yes, I, uh, uh, I'm the new, basically I'm the newcomer uh, on the block. Uh, of course, I have uh, in, uh, uh, when I submitted my uh, application for this position, of course, I went through a whole series of uh, uh, of studies of, uh, about the, the foundation, about the programs, the projects, what has been done, uh, the cycles and everything. But I think uh, what uh, something that has attracted me to, uh, to this foundation is the fact that it is continuously uh, uh, re-energizing uh, uh, itself through uh, 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 the, the programs, through the projects um, that uh, it, uh, it carries out throughout the Euro-Mediterranean uh, region. I, uh, I come on board, uh, of course, at the same time as uh, President uh, Elizabeth Guigou. Um, and uh, with her, we will uh, try to endeavor to continue the work that has already been uh, uh, accomplished uh, with, uh, by our predecessors, uh, particularly, I mean, uh, my immediate predecessor, Mr. Claret and President uh, Azulay. Uh, we also come in at a, uh, uh, an important moment. Uh, the foundation has just turned 10, uh, and now it's uh, looking ahead to another decade, hopefully, of equally uh, interesting results and uh, achievements. Um, what I have uh, um, really seen uh, in those initial three weeks that I have been exposed to the foundation, both as an organization, but also in uh, the programs and uh, a variety of activities it conducts, is that um, we, uh, I can tell you, if, I mean, uh, I hope you will prove me wrong, but I think we have a lot of work ahead of us uh, to make sure that this uh, uh, foundation is really what we want it to be in a sense that it is the, the, uh, the flag bearer or the banner bearer of uh, intercultural uh, dialogue in our uh, Euro-Mediterranean um, space and why not beyond. Um, I think it has the capacity. I think there is uh, a very strong will uh, in the, I mean, among all those that I have had the opportunity to discuss with. Uh, and I think it's only up to us now, but when I say us, I'm talking about the general family of the, uh, of the Annaline Foundation, the, the executive uh, office, but also all the uh, components uh, of this structure, the Board of Governors, the, the uh, Advisory Council, colleagues at the, uh, the European Commission, the, and all the structures that deal uh, in, one, in a way, one way or another, with the activities conducted by the foundation. I'm very, very pleased to, as I said in the beginning, to start my, uh, uh, my meetings and my uh, exchanges with the members of the, uh, of the uh, network in, uh, in Rome. And I think uh, for many, many reasons uh, that go beyond the fact that uh, I just come from the, uh, the, the neighbor just south of uh, for Italy, but I think uh, uh, Italy and the network, the Italian network, uh, really have a, a major role to play, and I think they have proven that in the past, and I think, uh, I am sure that they will continue uh, with the same uh, commitment, the same uh, enthusiasm, and uh, certainly I will look to uh, this uh, network to, to help me to, uh, to uh, uh, present, but also to, to materialize and concretize the, uh, some of the, the ideas, some of the projects that I would be presenting uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to the stakeholders um, throughout uh, uh, this period that I will be in charge of the foundation. 
I can tell you one thing that I have been extremely pleased and gratified by the also the level of dedication and commitment of the uh, staff at the Secretariat in Alexandria. Uh, young men and women uh, that really are showing a, a very high degree of uh, commitment uh, and conviction as to the uh, principles, the ideas uh, and objectives of uh, the foundation and I think when you have uh, such people on board, I think you already uh, carry uh, uh, half of the weight already uh, uh, with you. So, again, you know, thank you for this opportunity to, to uh, meet with you, and uh, I prefer that I listen to you because I think you are now uh, uh, the people. Uh, that are carrying those activities, uh, certainly know them more than I do, but I think I really need to, to hear the, uh, the various networks and understand their reality, understand their uh, aspiration, their expectations, uh, how they see the foundation growing, where do they see it uh, 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 bringing to them uh, the, uh, the, uh, the better uh, you know, added value or uh, uh, additional expertise. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, I'm, uh, on behalf also of my colleague uh, Paul, not that I don't want you to speak, but we will have a chance later. Uh, we're very, very pleased and we thank you uh, for this opportunity. Director Artava, again, you're most welcome in Rome. We are very pleased that your first uh, 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 mission as director, executive director of the Annalee Foundation, takes place in Rome, on your way to, to Malta tomorrow, where uh, uh, an important event in connection with communication and television, communication through television, um, the acronym of which is Copian, Copian, Copian which is run by uh, an Italian former expert of the economic aid, development aid of this ministry, Mr. Pierluigi Malizani, mm -hmm. who later on uh, went working for RAI, uh, the, the RAI Television yes. Corporation. Um, so these two uh, first uh, capitals that you're visiting in your new capacity, uh, I hope that we with, provide uh, you with the uh, Fondazione Mediterraneo uh, in coordinating the, the RIDE in Italy. And uh, three, three small remarks. Starting from what uh, our colleague said now, we, we experience, especially uh, regarding Africa, that uh, the need of, uh, of intercultural dialogue uh, while thinking about internationalization, for example, it's, uh, it's crucial. It's crucial because uh, if you think about uh, uh, also the structure, the cultural structure of some areas of the world, if you, if you think that you can go only with the business side to internationalize without... When you talk about intercultural dialogue, sometimes it is important within the same country. It is very important even within the same country. Um, uh, you know, you have a multitude of misunderstandings within the same country between regions. It is just because people do not appreciate the differences, the diversity. You know, we are always, uh, we are always afraid of what we don't know or we do not comprehend. Uh, so, what I'm saying is that uh, this is also something that uh, needs to be uh, <coughs> Very so, sorry, I don't uh, speak uh, English, but I understand. Uh, io ringrazio il ministro per eh, no, italiano. Ringrazio molto, magari Elena traduce per lui e col ministero anche delle affari esteri abbiamo una collaborazione molto proficua e abbiamo aperto un congresso importante. Eh, presso il Ministero delle Affari Esteri e proprio Sanità e Mediterraneo a ottobre. Io eh, 
La dottoressa Elena che è il nostro ufficio stampa responsabile del Dipartimento e Informazioni di Uniti Veroniri, Anzi Comai e ha illustrato le, le cose che noi più o meno dal 2000 che stiamo facendo. Noi siamo l'associazione medici di origine straniera, è l'unica nel mondo che raggruppa medici, infermieri, fisioterapisti odontiatri di tutti i paesi. Our network, our network is very new because we established it uh, last year. We have around 30 members, uh, as Mr. Lianana said. And uh, we, we, we are trying the experiment. We are uh, inside our members, people coming for artistic dimension. So we have a great as uh, big association as Archie, maybe you know them, and uh, Fabric Europa and Teatro dell'Argine, and also uh, big NGOs working in social cooperation, like COSPE, CS and CIS. Why? Because we think that arts and society are the strongest uh, activities that we can do for the dialogue between people. Um, we, have, we are trying now to, to find our way to work uh, because the most of us was uh, founders, I can say, of the Anna Lee Foundation because we were there since the establishment of the foundation in 2005 and we, uh, we were with the first staff of the, of the foundation trying to give our know-how. And uh, I'll be reading it in Italian since you understand the language very well. Gentile ambasciatore, mi trovo a Brescia per un incontro con due straordinarie donne, Karima Bennun e Elham Mannea. Ti sarò impegnata fino a domani sera. La prego di scusarmi con i presenti e di tenermi aggiornata sull'evoluzione. Anche dai due incontri di ieri all'ISPI, Istituto studi eh, di politica internazionale a Milano e oggi a Brescia è emersa l'emergenza culturale e la necessità di recuperare la memoria con il professor Lo Iacono who was supposed to come yes, I know that uh, we have a, a very complicated very difficult uh, uh, challenge ahead of us but uh, I see it more as an opportunity than as a challenge or as a complication, uh, because I know that uh, I'll be uh, walking and working alongside a lot of dedicated people like the Italian uh, network. So I think uh, together uh, this is the whole meaning of intercultural, but it is also um, uh, a, a sense of solidarity as well. Thank you. Grazie, grazie mille. Grazie. E, uh,